So let's delve into that a little bit when it comes to the Son of Man again in Daniel chapter 7. Now, you might recall that we talked about this in that dream of the four kingdoms last episode. Mm -hmm. And then the fifth kingdom is given to the Son of Man. But you can also see the same similarities that we saw like with the clouds and with the gathering uh, of, of the elect to meet the Lord and the trumpets. You can see that in Daniel 7 as well. Okay. which I know doesn't relate to the church, the body of Christ, or the rapture, but it does relate to Israel. So I believe this is more likely the sign of his return. Let's read it again. Daniel 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head was like pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Now this is the Lord himself sitting on his throne. What do you think wheels as burning fire refers to doesn't that i, I mean, well <laughs> i think it's ufos well that's what i'm saying i yeah. mean that that goes back to the one where we were uh, i don't know where it's at isaiah i believe where there, he's talking about the the being and it's a circle within a circle that's and, ezekiel chapter ezekiel, one ezekiel huh? okay it, yeah. it just sounds so much like that where he's trying to describe to the best of his knowledge a chariot or something like that well this is he's saying it's wheels which is a round structure with fire coming out the bottom yeah. of it, right you're exactly right, John. I believe this is exactly paralleling Ezekiel chapter 1 and the description of the four living creatures and the wheels yeah. within the wheels yeah. when the eyes are around about it and then there's the throne of God above it, above the head of the creatures and yeah. the firmament. So I think it's the exact same scene he's seeing here. God is consistent. Crazy. God is consistent, if anything. you know, yeah. These signs are always going to tie into each other. Hmm. So the wheel as a burning fire, a fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousands, thou, thousands, thousands ministered unto him, and 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were open. And like I told you last week, it's probably the, the final judgment taking place. Uh, or hmm. it might just be the judgment of the Nephilim. You know, the okay. judgment of the Antichrist and his armies, yeah. because it's the end of that fourth kingdom. Okay. And then I beheld then, because of the voice of the great word, which the words which the horn spake, there's the Antichrist. I beheld even till the beast was slain, his body was destroyed and given to the burning flame. And it, it seems to be that that burning flame that issues from before the Lord, in, in my opinion, is when the lake of fire is created. I think the Antichrist and the false beast, or the, or the false prophet rather, are the first occupants of the lake of fire. Hmm. This does sound like the judgment of the Nephilim, though, because he's yeah. talking about the beast and then as concerning of the rest of the beast, which is a reference to the Nephilim, right? Right, or the other kingdoms in the dream, but it, but the okay. parallel is there. Yeah. The parallel is there. And so they had their dominion taken away, so they, clearly there were ten kings mm -hmm. with the beast, and we know they're Nephilim, right? So you're, you're mm -hmm. right, you're exactly right. Uh, yet their lives were prolonged for a season in time, and I think that's history. Uh, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man. There's the original that's Usage Christ. of the title yeah. of Christ, so that's the Son of Man, right? <laughs> Came with the clouds of heaven. There's the clouds that Christ referred to in Matthew 24. And came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. And there's a gathering. There, there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages and, uh, and languages should serve him. And his dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his, uh, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. So there's definitely a connection between Matthew 24 and Daniel 7. Mm -hmm. It's literally the coming of the Son of Man. And that's why Jesus was referring to himself as the Son of Man throughout his ministry in Israel. Hmm. So let's go back to Matthew 24.